Right guys and girls, I'm Obsidian Ant and welcome back to Everspace. Today we're having another look through the game and we're going to start with a brand new run. I think we come to the end of the run in the uh, previous playthrough. So we're going to see how far we can actually get this time. And we're going to use the Interceptor, which is actually my favourite ship. And we've got a few thousand credits down here to spend. So very quickly we're going to let's see what we can actually upgrade here. So component damage chance, lucky jump ship chance. Right about most of these. Credit loop bonus. Yeah, let's let's go for that. That filled up quick, pretty quickly, didn't it? Device slots, secondary weapon slots. I actually forgot about that. That's the one I wanted, but never mind. Okay, maximum speed. Let's put a bit of money in there. And... We're going to launch and miss out on the unspent credits. Right, normal or easy? We often switch between some of these, but... Yeah, let's go for easy today and we'll see. Might be able to get a bit further. So you'll probably remember the furthest I've got so far is... To Sector... Oh, well, you know what? I don't even remember. I was about to say Sector 4, but it may have been Sector 5. And I believe Sector 5 is the last Sector... A little bit of conflict going on over there. So we'll head on over that way, I guess. Now, you may have also noticed in the past there's been a few frame rate issues here. So the game's been updated a couple of times in the past, and I've also got some driver updates in that time. So we'll see how it goes this time. Let me know if you see any of those sort of problems on the video. Hopefully, we won't see any of that at all. Been pretty bashed up there, and I. And one more fighter left. And keep waiting. Keep waiting. Yes, he's down. Okay, we don't want the fuel low, because at this point the fuel's pointless, as we've got a full tank. Well, there is some credits there, though. What a reasonable amount, and that should have been increased by the perk that I purchased right at the start. So let's see what's in the box here. Anything good? Nothing particularly special. Oh, a few more credits, so never say no to credits, eh? The layout of the asteroids over here almost looked like a ship. I don't know if you can see that. Nothing spectacular around here, though, it seems. Oh, we're going to get shot. Got it. I hope the other one got me. Right, Tari's down, but there is another one around here somewhere, but I'm going to get the goodies here, I think. So for those of you that are either new to the channel or haven't seen Everspace played before, it is a game I play from time to time. I try to get it in a couple of times a month when and where I can. And this is actually a roguelike or a ro roguelite. So essentially you do a run through and when you die, you die. You're back to the start again. But you do retain your perks. But any upgrades you do on the journey... You do unfortunately lose. But there's a few bits and bobs around here. So credits, essentially, we do get... It's the one thing we get to keep when we die. The other good is our items we can use for upgrades here. But really, it's the credits we want because they're very good. They allow us to become increasingly more powerful, which makes each run-through that bit easier. And there's also missions along the way. We sometimes bump into other characters... And they will give us missions, and in fact I'll have a look at the uh, map in the moment, because I can't remember if the missions persist through uh, different playthroughs. I have a feeling you retain the mission when you die. Not necessarily your progress on the mission, but the mission objective. And we'll have a quick look on the star map, because yep, you can see here are the various characters that I've uh, met. 
This is from the Everspace expansion called it Everspace Encounters. And you've probably noted it's quite arcadey in terms of the flight mechanics as well as the combat. And there is a first person here as well. We can go into first person mode. I prefer the external mode. And there's also a mode without the HUD, which again is first person. And we can flick back to third person. But just for a bit of variety, let's play in first person for a moment. So I'm ready to jump on out of here. We're going to head out of this system and into the next system or into the next zone. Jumping costs a bit of fuel. And we've got some perk upgrades allowing us to see our route. And we've got a bit more difficult areas here or medium risk and some easy risk ones. Medium risk will probably pay out a bit more money. And as we're right at the start, it's likely they're not going to be too difficult. So we're going to jump in here and see what's going on. And straight away, we got some outlaws. Outlaws protecting their outlaw base. And let's see what outlaw activity they've got going on over there. Criminal scum. We can come in. Right, we've got to watch out for turrets here as well. Because it's likely there's going to be a few of them around here. And drones. Aren't oh. Well, the glass cannons, basically. Where's the other one gone? Down. Okay, so... Let's have a look at the comms hub and we'll see if we can get anything out of hacking this. If we can get in there close enough, that is. Let's see what we've got. There's some goodies in here as well. Now, some of these we can change with the uh, modules we've got inside our ship. Other ones we might think are not so good, so we can actually salvage them, and that's what I'm going to do. So I'm essentially talking as though this is the first time uh, people would have seen this, because I appreciate a lot of people would have watched this video, but there's been a whole lot of subscribers come to the channel since I last played this game, so I think it's only fair to give a bit of an explanation about what the game's all about. I'm not really sure what uh, happened when I hacked the communications hub there. I'm sure someone will point that out in the comments section. Bit of a shame though, because I probably uh, missed something. Nanobots, there you can see me picking up there. They all go towards either the repairing or upgrading of your ship. Repairing is actually quite good, because you should take damage to the hull. You will need to undertake repairs. There's quite a few things around the that little bases here makes them always worthwhile coming to investigate. Now over to the right you can see some yellow UI elements and these are actually neutral characters or you could almost say they're friendly. So as long as I don't bother them they won't bother me. I can fly right past them if the red ones we need to keep an eye out on. One thing I really do like about this game is uh, gorgeous environments on it. Swipping, swapping between the weapons here because the pulse laser is good at taking down shields and the Gatling gun is used to take down hull. So yeah, like I was saying before, I was rudely interrupted there by the uh, pirate or whatever it was. Some rather gorgeous environments around here. And these ones are actually very dark, but we'll see some uh, new ones in a moment. I'm actually looking at the capture software here, and there seems to be slightly glitching frame rates on the video. But the gameplay itself is buttery smooth, so hopefully that's not going to come out too bad for you to actually watch. Right, so... Not worried about taking on the GMB because I don't want to become an enemy towards them, but I'm going to pick up some fuel whilst I'm here. I'm down to three quarters of a tank and I want to try and maintain as much of that as I actually can. Another thing you'll notice is that the targeting reticule in front of me, the green 
that bar represents the amount of energy I've got and that will actually decrease as I shoot slowly and it will decrease a bit more rapidly when I use the afterburner so to maintain a decent amount of energy you need to balance your activities and make sure you don't overdo too many things so the GMB containers over there I'm going to leave like I said and we're going to go out of here now into the third zone or the third system I'm not actually sure if each zone is a different system to be perfectly honest or were they just different points within the same system it's probably something I should really know after all this time of playing the game alright so Okar fighters or Okar drones on both sides there you will find that Okar and Outlaws will actually attack each other they're not friendly at all So we're actually lost our shield now, so gotta be a bit careful. I'd like to not die just yet on this run. I might be out of my depth here. No, we're not out of a depth, we're completely fine. Missiles missiles are our saviour, they'll always help us in these situations, as long as we've got enough of them. last one and they're down so all right let's see what goodies we've got hopefully we've got plenty of credits and a bit of fuel and the Weber drone which to be honest I'm not interested in so we're gonna salvage that Oh, a damage converter. That could be interesting, couldn't it? Well, unfortunately, I haven't got a lot of room on my ship for modules. Converts the percentage of incoming damage, both shield and hull, into usable energy at a certain ratio. Let's actually try that. And we we'll salvage the drone disassembler. Dismantles drones into tech resources, destroying them instantly. Actually, no, we won't. We want that, want to keep that. How did I leave? not even know I actually had that? We'll get rid of the damage converter then and we'll see if we can activate this one. And equip that. Ah, I see. I didn't realise. So, you'll see... No? I was about to say I can use that instead of a shield, but it looks like I can use that in addition to a shield, doesn't it? It's the R key, so... When we get the next lot of drones, we'll have a look. And we'll also see what we can upgrade here. We can't upgrade anything yet, unfortunately. Despite all the uh, drones and ships there we just destroyed. Alright, one outlaw scout and some mineable fuel. Keeping mining brutally simple, eh? And why not? Shame it's not a drone, because I would have liked to have tested out the other weapon. Gatling gun, making extremely short uh, work of his shield then. He must have had a very weak shield. Dark matter, okay. Okay, and we're in the last zone of the area here, and we'll be off to Sector 2. Let's see what we got first. Some more jumping in there, you see the little uh, entry points as they're warping in. Alright, 
excuse to use the drone machine, the drone disassembler. And that worked very well, didn't it? Don't know why I've never seen that before. Maybe it's a new thing, or maybe I've never been lucky enough to actually come across one. Although it was automatically fitted to my ship by default, wasn't it? So, who knows? And another drone there, so we're going to use it again in a moment. Broke down to a nice bunch of components, didn't it? Oh, is he... Has he taken down the drone? That's unfortunate. Oh well. So the credit boost, her perk, has actually paid off. I'm only in the first sector still and we've got quite a decent amount of credits. We don't want the tractor beam. Not lucky enough for it to be a another drone. I might use that module. Right, there's one more around here. Nope. So if we hang around too long, let's try and shoot down that missile, I don't know if I actually got it. If we hang around too long, what will happen is that some interceptors will start spawning in into this zone and those guys are very, very tough. Have a missile back. There we go. And I've got a chance to use the drone disassembler again. So I'm quite pleased about that. Not so nice new modules here this time. Time extender. Slows down time for a few seconds but leaves your ship unaffected. Shame. I'd love a load of room here. Maybe five or six modules. I'll have to have a look to see if we can upgrade some of them. Increases your weapons, fire rate, and damage for a few seconds. Let's actually swap that out. I'd like to see how that time time machine actually works. Got a few other crates around here as well. Pretty nice, eh? Could do with one of them in real life. Alright, let's swap over to the drone disassembler though because I much preferred that. And where is that drone gone? If we can activate it already. There we go. So the time extender is probably going to be quite handy in certain situations. Especially as we get slightly further into the game. So... Yeah, without a doubt, there certainly seems to be more modules than there usually is. Right, we're going to head for the jump gate now, I believe, and get ourselves into Sector 2. We've got to come at it from the right angle, though. And there we go. Sector 2, here we come.
sector two. Right, I think this is a good a place as any to leave it, and we pick up from here very soon. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys and girls next time.